Hey it's Edge here, today we are taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover web analysis with Elliott Wave Theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here with the bullish count in which we don't have any uh, diagonals here. Um, in this one we are saying that we have this as a 1-2, another 1-2, 1-2 and this here would be another 1-2. Now for this count to be happening, let's zoom in a bit, 30 minutes. Uh, we would have to have this as a complex structure here coming down. Uh, at the moment, this structure here looks like a five-way structure, so does this current structure here. Um, this can definitely be the first of wave C, uh, saying that we have something like this coming up. Uh, one to one would be around 22, uh, well, basically 23k right around there, and that would be around 1.618 extension of this WXY. That would go however beyond the 0.7 uh, or below the 786 retracement of this first move which makes it less likely overall to continue this bullish trend higher. Now again this is not my favorite count but this is the one that we need to have for the bull count to continue going higher. Again this is just the bullish count where we don't have any diagonals. We did have uh, more bullish ideas in which this could be some kind of A, B and C and which again something like this would happen. Um, again this is not perfect look because again this structure is looking so impulsive, uh, it's taking so much less time than anything else here so it doesn't have a perfect look, uh, that's why I don't really prefer that. Um, this is the preferred scenario at the mo moment for me which is bearish in which we have this as a W and then X and I'm looking for this larger wave Y here. Uh, overall what I'm looking at for the wave Y is this as a wave A, then some kind of A, B and C wave uh, coming down for this uh, micro B um, in which again we would be currently at. Uh, for this C wave here we would be looking for five waves uh, which if we zoom in, this is again the B wave here, and we would have this as a five-way structure into wave one, through a pullback into wave two, and now we could be setting up another one to set up here. So that's uh, another area to look for short setups if you're not in here. I did get a nice short setup in, I think 42, let's see, 4200 and 412. So yeah, pretty much, at the very tip top here. We had a daily there as well, so I front run that. Um, nothing else I don't think too much. So yeah, that acted very nicely. This most local uh, daily dot did not really do anything here. Um, I was expecting an, a bounce already uh, before that, so this could have been the wave one end, but again we did not have that. We just went through this and I think this could be the uh, wave three here. Uh, this low and then divergence I get back up here for another short possibility. Again we have two different ideas overall again the bullish idea in which we are looking for a three-way move here and this one in which we are looking at a five-way move in which we would be extending this uh, third way basically down here at 22 point or 22k. Um, that is going to be uh, or this whole structure is going to be determining the higher time frame count so it is going to be very interesting to see whether this is going to be doing uh, this or it's just going to be extending like this and then we can be uh, saying that okay this is one two three more likely. But that is the setup that I'm currently looking at today, uh, especially today I'm going to be looking for lower prices, way lower um, and after this B wave could be complete I would be looking for longs again for that C wave for the wave Y to end. Uh, again, as I said, bearish scenario is still in play, and in my eyes, it's the favorite at the moment. But again, that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover today. Another short setup possibility here to be coming. But if you made it this far into video, I would appreciate the likes and link to my free Discord server in the description below. For now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of the day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.